Da, 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 uh, welcome to <laughs> Stirring It Up. Why are you the only one with a hat? You know, I mean, well, I, here, uh, you uh, want I, a hat? I, well, I, I might have a chef hat for just a moment. Why not, huh? How do we look, huh? <laughs> Yeah, okay. Okay. Anyway, y'all, we're doing a great, you, you can tell from the hat that we're doing a great Irish soup, the Calcannon uh, soup. St. Patrick's Day is tomorrow. And this is a Gaelic dish, a Gaelic dish, cabbage, mashed potatoes. Of course, uh, when, when the Irish came to Louisiana, they found the Gulf of Mexico. And, of course, crab and shrimp and all that wonderful stuff went mm. into the dish. So now I've done a little brown butter here. So you... Uh, Johnny, you ready to go? Onion, celery, bell pepper, garlic. Oh, you'll throw it right on in there. You know how to do it. Onion. Onion, celery, celery bell pepper. pepper. Huh? Bell pepper, uh, little, garlic. A little brown butter in there kind of gives it a little extra flavor. When I say brown butter, we just toast the butter a little bit so that the, the cream starts to brown a little bit. It doesn't, doesn't burn the butter. You can see that. Now, a little cabbage going in there. Uh, Johnny, what do you think? I think so. Huh? It's already cooked. Okay. And now, while you guys are sauteing that, over here I have some chicken stock and potatoes that we're just boiling just to soften those potatoes. Now, now was this, uh, a, now, this a store bought stock or chicken no, this bones? Is, this or? is a uh, roasted chicken bone stock. Yeah. We make it here in house. Um, how, does it, how does it compare? Hard... People ask, how does it compare no, to the store? It's night and day. You know, in, in my opinion, you know, wow. you know, the marrow from the bones and the caramel. Oh, oh, yeah, that know, was the right answer, by the way. Well, I knew it was the right answer. He's the executive chef of White Oak. I mean, he's got the <laughs> right answer. Anyway, yeah. so what else you got? So once you guys saute those, we're going to add no, all that cabbage. No, not once you guys. I'm doing the sauteing. Chef, one, standing chef here. wants you to okay. sauteing. We're going to throw all that cabbage right in this pot over here. Okay, so we're just softening the cabbage is all we're doing, right? Just kind of getting it softened a little bit. So, okay, so we have all of that going in. So you're going to go, go right in here? Yeah, I'm going to go right. In fact, I'm going to do it this way. Got nice, uh, John, you see how I'm giving I can see our that. viewers, see how I'm giving all of our viewers out there a nice shot of my Now, look, pie. I can work that. And now, if, no, 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 you at, if, you're at, if you're at home and you have a food processor, you can switch it to the food processor here. We're going to use a stick blender. And so um, just going to blend it in just a, uh, well, we might have to get it cranked up. There we go. Um, no, no, right, right. While he's going to put all that in, well, Ryan I'm going to fix, Ryan and pay the electric bill. I'm going to fix huh? our background and we're going to be right back after a short break right here on 9 News at 4. Stay with us. Oh, that little, that little old thing. Just that, that, that thing. Well, get that thing. Get this out of here. Get out. Let's get this out of here. Power to you. Yeah. Power to you. I'll take you. That's what we're doing here. Yeah. Well, I'm like, chopping cabbage, y'all. We're chopping cabbage for our cow yep. cannon soup, okay? Now so now that that's pureed, we're going to go in with our shrimp. We have some 40, 50 shrimp. But now we're not pureeing the shrimp. No, no. Now we're done pureeing. All right. Put that down, Johnny. Let me know. We have some dill, some chives, some heavy cream. Oh, heavy whipping cream, y'all. One of the great, great soups of Ireland, you know. Just, one of the, just a splash mm -hmm. of lemon juice. And you can imagine, once they arrived in Louisiana, they found the Gulf of Mexico. Oh, my God, the rest is history. And, y'all, that's what it looks like when it's all wow. said and done. Take a look at that. I'm going to just do this for you right there. Look at that. All right. 